Luigi's Mansion 2 is now out for the Nintendo Switch, but this time in HD, which means it's slightly different from the original. Now this just isn't a straight up graphical upgrade, there's actually some changes with some of the assets and textures, and you'll notice some pretty big ones in certain areas. Now this isn't going to be anything as big as Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door because that game was completely remade from the ground up, but there are some noticeable differences and things that I wanted to talk about. So we'll be going through the entire first world, being the gloomy manor, looking at any real difference that we can find. Now, we're not going to be talking about the texture of literally every single thing in this game, as that would be over, you know, a million different facts, but things that are a little bit more noticeable than others. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you notice any other differences as well, make sure you comment them down below for the next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and let's dive into over 40 brand new differences with Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Luigi's Mansion 2's file select is now different. It used to just be three windows with a gray background. Now you actually have the background of Evershade Valley and the gloomy manor behind everything and even the dark moon. The map of Evershade Valley definitely got an uphaul. You can see with the gloomy manor, it has a lot more detail with bricks and siding and the darker color and tone to it along with the trees around it. The haunted towers look more even in height now and you can even see the bridges in between them that connect and the trees and bushes in the area look a lot different now. The old clockworks, you can now see the building wrap around the entirety of the clock tower, and the clock tower got a different redesign as well, and it looks just completely different from the original. The secret mine changed the entire ice look of the mountain into an all snow-covered mountain, which I actually like the snow cover better than just the sheer ice covering everything. And we can see Treacherous Mansion, it's really far away from here so it's hard to see all the details right now, but it looks primarily the same. You can see that the water in the area looks a little bit more realistic this time around, with the fog coming up from the giant chasm. And obviously all the trees in the area have a purple hue to them now, if you haven't noticed that already, but yeah, the map had undergone some pretty drastic changes and overall looks a lot cleaner than I ever would have imagined. In fact, you really wouldn't notice a lot of this stuff if you didn't have these side-by-sides, and that's why I wanted to do this, because it actually shocked me. There's some pretty good graphical changes here. The ghosts used to be more opaque, meaning you could easily see through them, and their color colors were a lot lighter in tone and not as saturated this time around, where they're a lot darker, more solid in color, which I don't know how I feel about that. I guess ghosts are supposed to be more see-through, like the original had it, but it's not a horrible change by any means. King Boo's crown is now different, where the purple gem would be a little bit smaller than the actual crown itself. Now the gem fits perfectly on the crown without much space in between. This is just a no-duh, but the game is now Luigi's Mansion 2 instead of Dark Moon, and it doesn't feature the gloomy manor poking out of the background. It's just more of a basic logo this time around, which it kind of sucks, honestly. I, I like just having that theme of Dark Moon and, you know, the theming of it. it now it just seems like letters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Luigi's textures himself look a lot different. He now has proper stitching in all of his clothes, like his overalls and his shoes have more details around them. Obviously his hands just look a lot better and not blocky. You can even see individual hairs in his mustache and he even still has the stitching in the L of his hat. Yes, there's been a lot of changes for Luigi and as you can tell, this was a little bit more than just a better looking version of the original. They actually had to redo some assets. Here's a crazy one that'll blow your mind. Egad used to have white buttons on his lab coat. Now he has black ones. In the original game, Egad had a little symbol icon with his head whenever he spoke in the dialogue box, and this kind of referenced the original game and the dialogue boxes there as well, but in the remake, it's just a very simple box that says Egad. Egad's face used to pop up at the bottom right when he called you on the DS. Now it pops up at the bottom left. Not a huge difference, but a difference nevertheless. The car in the garage of the Gloomy Manor looks slightly different. It has new different textures for its rims, giving it more round hubcaps, and you can even see a lock on the car door, which isn't there in the original. In the original, the Cheap Cheap water fountain actually had a different design, where the statue of the Cheap Cheap used to have spiky fins on top, but now it matches their actual design based on the enemy design in Mario games. Also, if you look at the original, there's not really that much clumps of grass or anything, and it's kind of just poking out of nowhere when you do get clumps of grass, where in the remake, every clump of grass is followed by a little patch of mud where it's growing out of. The knights in the remaster actually look a lot different. They're not just silver, but they actually have 
have rust spots and details along the shields and the swords of their bodies, and yeah, they just look overall a lot more different. And you actually have fingers this time around where before it was just kind of these weird Pac-Man glove things. We also have a new pull animation where originally Luigi would actually lean back in order to pull something off of a wall, where now he just pulls it, which is a strange change because I actually like the addition of him leaning back and made it look more realistic. So this one's kind of odd. In the remaster, there's now a little brick wall by the flowers in the garden, kind of showing it like a little garden area. Some bottles and containers actually have labels on them now, making it a little bit more realistic. Both games keep the same blocky, polygonal looking bush design, but the new version has more leaf details as it has pieces of leaves hanging out, making it look more like a bush and less like a solid object. When you get into the foyer dining room looking area with the carpet, you'll notice that the tiles used to be gray, but now they're red. And you'll see a similar theming throughout the rest of this mansion. Something else you'll notice is that now in the remake, it's a lot more noticeable to see a giant bump under the rug, which is hiding a secret switch. It's a lot more noticeable now in the remake. Also, I know I've probably been switching back and forth saying remaster and remake, so for clarification purposes, I'm just gonna always call it a remake from here on out. It makes it a lot easier. The fish tank used to just be this clear glass with fish swimming around where you could easily see everything through it, and it really didn't look like there was water in there, where this time it actually looks like a real fish tank tank, and you can even see the water detail. Yes, this is a lot better. In the original, when you go to the outside of the right side of the mansion, you'll notice that the fenced area on the outside has nothing there. It's just like an open field, where in the remake, it actually has lots of trees and details on that side of the fence as well. In the original, when you go into the bathroom, you'll see that the mirror is cracked behind the sink. Now, you barely can see this. It seems to just be more like line drawings for the cracks, where in the remake, it's very noticeable this time around, as you can see pieces of the mirror shattered. Also, for some reason, in the remake, the bathroom rug now has a different design, and we'll actually see this with a couple of rugs in this mansion. And it's not just little things to help getting through the game be a lot smoother, like showing where secret buttons and stuff are hidden, but it's also like secret coins as well, where in the original, there's no tear mark in the wall, where in the remake, there's a giant rip in the wall, kind of signifying that there's something that you can do to interact with it. The rug in the parlor also has a different design on it. The web design is now completely changed, where they used to be thicker with the line design and actually look more papery, kind of like Paper Mario Sticker Stars webs, and maybe they were kind of used as inspiration since they both were 3DS games, but now they look more web-like and not as thick and papery line design. In the bedroom, you'll see some changing boards in the back right where you can't really make out what the design is on it, but in the remake, it looks even more detailed showing it's like some type of grassy field that was painted on there. In the original, the rugs were always flat with the ground, and you can see in the bedroom that goes for this one too, where in the remake it actually goes over a floor beam kind of giving it a rugged look, which is really, you know, a lot more realistic this time around. And I'll only bring this one up once, but there are a lot of little tears and rips in the wallpaper in specific rooms on the wall as you can see here in the remake. When you reach the study, the floor tiles used to always be gray or tan colored, where now they're all red, once again matching that overall red theme of the mansion. Now this one could just be a color saturation theme thing with the new kind of colorway of this game with the remaster or remake or whatever you call it, but it's hard to tell. It definitely looks different though. When you get to the studio, you'll also notice sometimes the carpet doesn't even have to go over a specific piece of the floor to be rugged or have a bump in the carpet's design, where you can see in the remake it just has a little fold area giving it more detail. In the original, the gears have more of a texture design to them, like the yellow one looking more gold in the remake than it's just solid yellow color I used to have. Also, the gear turner machine that EGAD makes Luigi looks a lot different in the remake, actually having colors to better see the details in the machine itself. On the second story of the library, you'll notice tons of runner carpets, but in the remake, they'll have lots of scrunches in them, not making them perfectly flat laid out, which I love the little details. Also, if you pay attention to the books that are flying around the room, in the original, they're just random books being tossed at you, with nothing special to them. But in the remake, you'll actually notice is that the books have covers to them. When you go down into the kitchen, everything pretty much stays the same, but for some reason the refrigerator got an uphaul and actually has a new little neat design around it. In the original, there's a giant compass star on the floor of the library, and it's kind of just weaved into the wooding, so it's kind of hard to notice where in the remake it's a lot more noticeable as it pops out of the wooding a little bit more. It seems to be more carved into the wood floor instead of drawn. Boo's facial expressions are a little bit different in the remake, where in the original, his eyebrows would actually float above his eyes, giving him more of a goofy look 
in the remake, they just completely removed that and connected his eyes to his eyebrows, and he looks more like a regular Boo this time around, and I don't know, it takes a little bit away from his goofiness. I kind of like that original face. The knights laying on the floor in the attic are laid down in a slightly different way, and it's more clear how they look. It was a little sloppy looking in the original. There's a spot in the attic where you can actually see the outside of the mansion's walls, and it looks a little bit more detailed in the remake, showing the shingles individually placed on the roofing on top of the mansion. Any instance of plumbing in this game seems to be changed in general, because whenever you see a pipe, they actually added some detail to them, as the pipe above the elevator door to go down to the final boss of this area is a lot different in the remake, adding more detail and more pipe rings along the tubing. Finally, you'll notice some little changes in the basement when it comes to the wood pellets and the beams everywhere, as they're kind of just not attached and they're just kind of piece by piece, where in the remake you can see where they're actually broken apart. But that was 40 plus changes from the original version of Luigi's Mansion 2 to the brand new version with Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Let me know in the comments down below if I missed any other small little details and if you enjoy these videos or not. Of course, they're not anything super drastic, but it is enough to really appreciate the fact that they at least did make some changes to the graphics. Thankfully, some assets were just remade or cleaned up a lot better. But let me know what you think down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out to really let me know if you want to see another one like this. And like always, I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.